Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Late June, early July, I was just scrolling through Pinterest and I saw this video and I was like, what is this magical product? And I need it now and it would make for a really good video. So I went home, clicked on the link and it brought me to a website and I was ready to order this product that proclaimed to take off gel polish very easily, as you can tell in the video in a very weird way as well. It looks hella creepy. But yes, yeah, so I was on the website, I was ready to order, and then I was like, uh, probably Amazon has this too, which they did, so I ordered it for $5. So I've been meaning to do this video ever since then, but this product took forever to come. Like, I am so annoyed. I ordered it and I was like, this is gonna be such a great video, because at the time I had searched on YouTube and I hadn't seen it anywhere, and then now everyone has done this video, or a lot of people have done this video, including the queen of nail polish herself, Simply Nail Logica. Yeah, I haven't watched anyone's videos because I really don't want to see if it actually works and just people's reactions because I just like don't want it to ruin it for me. Um, I did start watching the beginning of Simply Neologica's video and I read some of the comments as well under her video and now I'm less excited about this product because I was super excited. Gel nail polish is so annoying to take off like especially if you're doing it at home right? Like if you go do it at the salon like they just do it for you and you just hang out pay your five bucks like it's all good but if you do it at home like you all know how annoying that is with like cotton on every nail and then wrapped in foil and then you can't use your hands for like 10 20 minutes like it's a headache so I thought this was like a miracle product I wanted to use it so bad but then having seen a little bit of um, Simply Neologica's video and then some of the comments I'm like so <laughs> Ugh, the excitement has passed, let's say, and also the time it took for this thing to come in. So this is the product. There's different versions of it. Mine is the Viname Professional one, um, and it's called the Magic Remover. The one I read and the one I ordered said specifically gel nail polish, but it seems like there's different versions of it, and it seems like it's supposed to take off all nail polish. But yeah, again, back to the comments on her video. Um, there's a specific comment, and if I can find it again, I will put it up here, but it was basically listing the ingredients and saying just like all the awful things about the ingredients, and so this doesn't seem like the best product, and I am not recommending it, even if it does end up working. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where they got that list of ingredients either because this is the packaging it came in and like, there's nothing in it. Like there's just this that it was wrapped in, this foam, and there's no papers, nothing else in it. And on the bottle, it doesn't say, I haven't read this yet, protect of your hand. So only apply fast removal and care. Only apply? I don't know. <laughs> this is not even English. Reduces hydration of nails and surrounding skin and eliminates the appearance of whiteness. Oh my god. I'm so, like, what does that mean? Okay, I don't understand any of that. It's like not clear at all. Okay, notice, please take care about your skin. Do not put in your body. <laughs> Keep out of reach of children for professional use only. Fast and easy finger paints, soak off gel remover, works by gently softening the nail color to remove with ease. Okay, that was the only sentence that about made sense. And then there's nothing else. So I have no idea where that person got the ingredient list from. Um, I don't remember if the Amazon page had the ingredients. I guess I'll go back and I will let you know if it did or not. But yeah, I'm actually kind of scared of using this. And then also, like I said, I only watched like the very beginning of her video and then read the comments because I didn't want to ruin it for myself. I will watch it after. But everyone was saying like, try it on car paint. And I honestly have no idea why. And I maybe should just watch the video. But I don't want to ruin it. But anyways, I will try on car paint for you guys and see. I My car is like super old and I really don't care if it like eats away at my car a little bit. It's a very old car. So I will try and see like why people are asking about it. We'll do that later at the end. I don't know if you noticed already. Um, I've only painted my left hand with nail polish. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered to do two hands because I literally painted this just to take it off. So yeah, I have this gel manicure set that comes with the UV light and everything. So the white is a white gel polish from that kit that comes with the kit and then I just did that accent gold nail as well with the Sally Henson gel polish just to like try a variety of gel polishes to see the difference I'm assuming all gel nail polish is like pretty on par with each other but anyways I just thought I'd try like different ones to see how this works with all of them I'm honestly terrified I'm gonna be very very careful not to get this on my skin or anywhere else I do not 
recommend buying this, but I was committed to doing this video since I had ordered this way before I saw anyone else do it or um, any comments about the ingredients or anything. Um, so yeah, let's get started. All right, so here is my hand, my painted hand with the Sally's gel nail polish and then the white gel nail polish that came with that kit that I just showed you. And then here we have the magic remover in question. I'm actually terrified. And I'm just gonna put down a, just a sheet of paper towel under where I'm working because I don't know about this thing and I don't want it to completely ruin my desk. So, okay, let's get started. I'm gonna try to do this really quick so I'm not breathing like questionable fumes in. It's like weirdly blue and kind of chunky, not what I imagined it to look like, to be honest. But okay, let's try it on my pinky. And also there's no instructions. Like, I don't know, do I wait? Do I like do a cartwheel? Like, what do I do for this to work? Do I just apply? I don't know. Do I shake the nail polish? I don't know, but I just did. Oh my god, it's thick. It's like a gel. Oh my god, okay. No, I don't want to get this everywhere. Okay, let's apply it onto my pinky. Do you see me shaking? Because I'm genuinely scared. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna do the pinky right now, and then we're gonna see. Like, suddenly my nail's like heavier. <laughs> it's like, it's almost like I can feel it working, <laughs> but that just might be in my head, but it feels different than my other nails. Okay, nothing is happening so far. I don't know what's going on. Like, do I need to apply more? Hello? <laughs> what the hell? Nothing's happening. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more because nothing is happening. I'm so confused. Okay, I'm gonna watch her video because nothing is happening to mine at all. Like, it hasn't budged. It hasn't budged at all. It's just like blue goop sitting on my nail. And I don't understand. So we're gonna watch her video right now. Oh, I now understand all the comments about trying it on car paint. She just talked about it now in the video. Oh my god, okay, okay. It's happening, oh my god, okay, something is happening. Okay, I just didn't realize it was gonna take that long, but do you guys see? Oh my god, that's so gross, it's like bubbling up. Oh my gosh, wow, it really is working. Look how it's starting to bubble up. Oh my god, I can feel it popping off. Oh my god, it popped off. It completely just popped off. And now I can just... Oh my god, okay, that was really cool. <laughs> that is so cool, but still, I'm sketched out about it. Okay, can I just scrape off the rest now? Oh no. Okay, so most of it is coming off, but there's still this bit that's not coming off. I'm gonna go ahead and apply just a little bit more to see if that helps speed it up, but it definitely works. I just didn't realize that it was gonna take that long. It's starting to come off as well here. I'll show you guys up here. Can tell it's starting to like peel off and bubble up. Okay, I'm gonna keep watching her video while that keeps going. One eternity later. Okay, so let's try removing the last bit of nail polish on this nail. Oh, okay. That part came. Oh my god, I don't want it on my skin! Okay. That part came off pretty easily. And then this half is not budging. Yeah, that half is really not budging. So honestly, I'm just gonna wipe the product off and I'm gonna remove the rest the like painful usual way because I'm sketched out. <laughs> the ads I saw, including the video that I showed at the beginning, makes it seem like it's instantaneous. Like the explosion, the like <laughs> happens right away and it's like not true. It takes 
really long. I know that even normally you can file down your nail polish before, so I'm gonna try that and then I'm done because I'm like, <laughs> the more I think about how we don't know the ingredients and then the fact that I just watched her say it reminds her of like a paint remover, like some crazy solution thing. I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna keep trying this on and like suddenly like this finger is a little itchy, so. <laughs> Again, seriously not recommending this. I just want to see for myself at this point if it's gonna work on the two next nails and then I'm out. Okay, so you guys can see that I gave these two a good file, so I'm gonna apply the product and see how that works. I'm wondering if it's gonna be faster here. That's gonna work faster, but I don't know. I'm not sure if Christine tried it in her video or not. I didn't get to that. I just keep watching a little bit and stopping. She was very smart though. She like applied it on um, like these false nails or whatever they're called instead of her real nails, which I should have done. <laughs> And I didn't even think about like ingredients or whatever. I was just like, I need a solution. I don't want to soak my nails, but I'm definitely going to be soaking the rest, <laughs> the last two nails to get all of it off because this product is hella questionable. Like what the heck? Because she said in her video that she had emailed um, sellers, like some sellers to provide an ingredient list and they just like refused to. <laughs> Which is actually outrageous. It actually looks like it's starting to work a little faster on this nail, if you can see. Like it's starting to bubble up just near the cuticle there. Oh yeah, it's working much faster. It's definitely starting to bubble up everywhere. Oh my god, that looks disgusting. It looks like I have a worm or something on my nail. Oh my god. I really wish this product wasn't sketchy though because you can tell it's like really working. And it works so much better when you file down down the nail. Like that's working so much faster than it did for my pinky. Okay, I'm gonna bring the camera on this side because I'm losing light on that side. But yeah, you can definitely see that bubbling up. Oh, it's so gross. Okay, but do you notice the difference? The Sally Hansen nail polish has been like bubbling up and gross. And then this one that comes with the kit hasn't budged at all. Off and see how much comes off. Taking it real slow. Oh my god, this one's starting to bubble. You can like feel it peeling off your nail. Like I can tell when it starts working. Okay, so I have most of it off and I'm not gonna do any more than that. I'm just gonna remove the rest of the nail polish the old-fashioned painful way, but safe way. So yeah, uh, does this work? Definitely. Should you buy it? No. I just think it's really sketchy that there's no ingredients and that people have asked for a list of ingredients and they just have straight up said no. So yeah, I'm gonna go actually try it on my car like I said and see if it removes the paint. If it does, I think that tells us everything we need to know.
guys saw that, it does the exact same thing to the card paint as it did to the nail polish. And you can see here, there's my card paint on the stick. Oh, it's kind of blurry, but you can kind of make it out. There's some paint on there. Um, so... <laughs> What are my thoughts on this? Um, Christine from Simply Neologica is probably right. It seems to be like super similar to the paint stripper she was referring to in her video. And we just saw it does the same thing. It did the same thing to my car. And there's no ingredient list. There's no instructions. They won't provide ingredients. So yeah, I definitely will not be using this anymore. It's going straight to the garbage. It's just like a dream that I wanted to happen to easily take off my shellac manicure, but it's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna stick to the hard way. Please drop a like if you like this video and leave me your comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>